All right. So Pico8's new instrument editor is really great. And I'm going to try and cover everything you need to know about it and show some fun ways you can use it. Basically, the way the instrument editor works is when the instrument column is green, that SFX, so in this case, SFX0 is called and played for the duration of the note. To toggle these green instruments, you just click this button up here, and now you can use the instrument editor. Uh, otherwise, you've got the regular red instruments. Um, right now, there's no sound being played because there's no information in SFX0. Once we add something into SFX0, then we start hearing some sound. So I think the, the best way to understand how the instrument editor works is by trying to recreate one of the original instruments. So I want to recreate the sound that you hear with the original zero instrument. But this, what it sounds like now is this. So I want to recreate the, uh, the sound from the, uh, from the regular red zero instrument. So the first thing you'll notice is that the note cuts off way too quickly. Uh, this is because we're using a much quicker speed here in SFX0. And we're using speed 1, where in SFX8 we've got speed 20. And the sound is finishing much quicker than the duration of each of the rows. So one way to fix that is by matching speeds. I'd recommend using loop points though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just loop this like that. This is going to come in handy later when you're creating some other sounds. Uh, the next thing you might notice is that the pitches are wrong. So when you use the instrument editor, everything is relative to C2. So if you want the instrument editor sounds to have the same pitches as the regular instruments, everything will have to be tuned to C2. If I change the pitch of the instrument editor, we're going to hear now that we've got the same pitches happening. Once I start changing this, So, but we, we're going to keep it at C2 for now. So the next, the, the last thing you'll notice is that the volume is not the same. So if you want the instrument editor sounds to have the same volume range as the regular instruments, the volume column needs to be at 7. So now when we play this, it should sound identical to the original instrument. There we go. So that's calling SFX0, and here's the regular instrument. They sound identical. Now, they sound identical, but we've and we've learned a little bit about how the editor works. Because they sound identical, this is exactly how you don't want to use the instrument editor. You might have all kinds of rows here and and uh, different loop points like this but if at the end of the day it still sounds identical then you might as well you might as well just use the regular instrument sound uh, the last thing I'll mention is that these instruments are called and played for the duration of the note. Uh, if our instrument isn't uh, looped, so let's say let's make it a little longer. If our instrument isn't looped and let's say we only have C2 here, then we're only going to hear the sound play once. You need to change you need to change the note in order for it to trigger again. 
Uh, sometimes it's a little finicky and sometimes a space in between the note, like a blank row will be enough to trigger it here, sometimes not. Uh, anyways, you just gotta watch out for that. Let's see if this works. Okay, it seems to be working. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Okay, there, see, see, for some reason now this isn't, this isn't uh, being triggered. And now these ones aren't triggered. So Pico 8 in its current version is a little inconsistent in how it, how it triggers these. But definitely if you change the note, then you're going to get the sound triggered again. So that uh, covers the basics. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you some different ways you can use the instrument editor and start creating your own sounds. Thanks for watching.